Hey everyone. All right, so we pulled out the extruder or the neck extruder as they call it um, out of our tool head number four. As you remember from our last video, um, this extruder kept getting the stuck filament error. And the root cause for this, yes, you can you can get stuff on the actual tool head where um, a piece of filament gets stuck underneath the roller or, or cl uh, clogged in there for any reason. And yes, you should definitely check that first before pulling this out. But if you've uh, inspected it, you can see that it's clean. Um, no other issues. Nine times out of ten, your issue is going to be this guy right here. And I can show you the actual error. So, or what causes the issue. I'll see if it'll focus. Uh, come on now. Alright, there you go. So if you look right here. See that nice little dent? I'm going to try and roll this a little bit so you can see that dent. <clears throat> Dang, it's really hard to see on camera. Sorry, guys. That's a little bit better. That is actually from the retaining screw that holds this um, next extruder in place and secures uh, the block and everything in the tool head. So it, it all free floats. This goes up into the tool head. And then there's a little retaining screw that goes through the middle and holds it in place. Now, this was a semi-assembled printer, so this was already put in when we got it. But you'll notice that it was over-torqued. And when it does that, it pinches the filament um, ever so much, just right there, that when it is trying to feed, you get a little bit of resistance. And I actually cut off a little piece of filament here that you can see <clears throat> it's smooth it's very smooth all the way up to where you get to that little point and then you get a little bit of resistance trying to go in in and out just enough that it it's going to trigger that um little warning on the machine that uh hey you've got stuck filament now i don't know of a way to pop this out i know a couple of you guys were asking if there was a way to you know put an allen key or something in there and try and expand it Maybe if you had something that's the exact same diameter um, and heated this up <clears throat> pretty pretty warm, you might be able to expand that out. <clears throat> but for the $20 that these little extruders are, um, to me, it's not worth it. So I went ahead and ordered it uh, from Prusa. We just ordered um, another five of these extruders. Just way so we've got a few spares on hand, uh, mainly because shipping is... 20 bucks or some crap to get from um, Czech to the US. So we ordered five. We'll keep four in the parts drawer um, and get this one fixed so we can run with the stuck filament because if there is ever the issue, I'd like to have that little warning pop up for me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the issue that you're going to see on this particular part. If you have uh, any questions or you guys running into the same errors, this is what you need to look for. Check to see if that little retaining screw has dented this little pipe, um, you'll have to replace the part to fix that error.